info on uh, business events in Penang. Question about for business traveler, what kind of leisure Penang can offer? We pretty much have it all. to Bombay today uh, is to engage with the media, with the travel and also tourism industry and also the stakeholders in Bombay because I, we, I mean, put it simple, we want more tourists from India to Penang, Malaysia. Definitely um, before pandemic, you can see that uh, a lot of Indian tourists to Penang and after the two years of lockdown due to pandemic, we want the Indian tourists return to Penang. And we see that uh, Indian is a very big market, also a very important market for us. And we can see that uh, there's a long history and also a uh, relationship between India and also Penang, Malaysia. So we see that uh, we should encourage more Indian tourists to Penang. And Penang is a, is a, is a uh, tourism city. Uh, just within uh, less than seven hours, you can fly from any places from India to Penang. And Penang is a melting pot. You can, you can experience, you can uh, experience yourself in, in a multicultural uh, environment you can experience our, our world-class uh, uh, gastronomy, our uh, heritage, and also our nature. Uh, Penang also uh, the only state in Malaysia we have two UNESCO status. On top of Jostau being our UNESCO heritage site, we also have uh, Penang Hill as the UNESCO Biosphere Reserve that uh, awarded by UNESCO in year 2021. So we believe that uh, Penang is a, a very best choice of uh, vacation and also for business event, for Indian travelers, for Indian uh, tourists to Penang. So that's why we come to uh, Mumbai today. So um, we have been engaging the India market uh, for the past six years and uh, we have been constantly doing road shows uh, into India. And uh, when we mention road shows, uh, we bring in partners from Penang, Malaysia, and to have the business-to-business -business exchange with our partners in India. And during the pandemic, uh, we did not stop this effort. We converted our road shows into virtual and also hybrid. So when I say hybrid, our representatives in India carried out the roadshow um, in the cities that we have identified. And uh, today we are here to inform our friends uh, and agents in India that uh, we will continue this roadshow once again next year and it will be physical. And uh, we will also be starting a new campaign, 
uh, for the Indian market that we will be announcing uh, next year. So these are all the initiatives and uh, we also have Malaysia Airlines as our strategic airline partner and uh, there are a lot of incentives uh, that are available for business travellers who come uh, into uh, Penang. So to know more about the incentives that the airlines is offering and the destination is offering, um, the travel agents or the organisers can directly be in touch with the Convention Bureau or even with Malaysia Airlines directly. What led to the decision of direct flights to Penang? Uh, the Indian market has been growing over the years and we have seen this growth from before top 10, then top 10 and today it has gone right up to top 5. And without, uh, even without having direct flights into Penang, the numbers has been increasing because Penang is very well connected uh, throughout other destinations. So we get a lot of Indian tourists coming in via Kuala Lumpur, also via Singapore, via Bangkok and we get a lot of Indian tourists who also opt to come via cruise, as cruise tourism. So the idea was if we had a direct flight that comes from India, any city from India into Penang, definitely India will be moving from the top five to probably even the top three market that Penang is receiving. And we are very confident that this can happen if we have a direct flight. Penang? Penang, maybe uh, probably just a uh, second smallest state in Malaysia, but we are very proactive and we are very uh, aggressive in promoting tourism because tourism is, um, is one of the very important uh, pillars of the economy for the state of Penang. So after uh, I being the state minister for tourism, we started initiative and so uh, many strategy, many plans to to uh, to promote Penang. We want Penang to be a uh, world class tourism city. So we have take we have taken many initiative. We have uh, launched Experience Penang. Actually, we want to launch Experience Penang campaign in year twenty ten year twenty twenty. But because due to pandemic, everything have been have been stopped. But we we have not stopped uh, our initiative. Also, our efforts. During the whole pandemic, we still uh, uh, did a lot of uh, online marketing and also uh, hybrid uh, conferences, seminar, uh, still engaging with all the all, all the industry players all around the world, including uh, India. And during pandemic, we also uh, we also are the first state we to launch a responsible tourism campaign to gain the trust and so confidence of the tourists to Penang. Uh, to make sure that we are safe and also uh, we, we are the first state to, to have incentive to encourage uh, Indian <coughs> uh, travellers to Penang. We have, a partners we have partnership with many uh, stakeholders including our Malaysian stakeholder and also the uh, stakeholder in other, other countries like India to, to promote, I mean to, to cater, uh, to curate some special packages to the tourists. So definitely India is our uh, targeted market Be because I believe that Indian friends also like to travel. I mean, during my, when I go to overseas, I also see a lot of Indian tourists all around the world. So I think that why not we also need to, to encourage to, to, to tell Indian tourists that uh, Penang also a very good vacation venue for our Indian friends. It's just a, not so long haul, not long distance, uh, within one day you can come back, you, you can come to Penang to enjoy everything. Last question, how has the pandemic affected the business and has the demand for travel increased now? How has the pandemic affected the business and has the demand for travel increased now? Uh, like <coughs> Like all, all, like all over the world, pandemic had uh, seriously impacted the tourism industry. Uh, tourism industry is the first sector to be shut down, to be uh, affected by pandemic, by COVID-19. But luckily and fortunately, like what I say, the United States government always proactive and also we uh, take care of the business of the people. So during the whole pandemic, we have uh, launched many 
uh, initiative to help our industry players. We have give uh, financial, uh, our fiscal assistance. Uh, we have give a zero interest loan to help our uh, to ease the cash flow of our industry players, and also uh, we have a responsible campaign. And even now, after the pandemic, uh, <coughs> we enter into endemic. So uh, we we try to revise the, the industry. We have uh, initiative the uh, the. Jump uh, side, Job fair. Uh, we initiated. We started the job fair. Job fair to 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 get back the manpower to human resource to the tourism industry, and also uh, we have many uh, many action plans to to help the tourism players to come up with the incentive. We have our we have uh, we have a campaign like uh, uh, coupon. How to say coupon? Or the coupon or the incentive. We also uh, have coupon uh, <coughs> cash incentive to the tourists to come to Penang. So after the reopening of the border, we can see that uh, a lot of tourists uh, come back to Penang. So it shows that uh, our tourism industry is uh, picking up and we have confidence that it will be rebounds uh, very soon and also rebound uh, stronger than before. Um, I, I would only like to <coughs> I would like to say uh, thank you because uh, our friends and agents from India, uh, even throughout the pandemic, has been very supportive towards Penang. And uh, even though businesses were struggling, but I think what was important was uh, the motivation that uh, the agents were giving towards the destination and similarly. And this, <coughs> I wouldn't say a business relationship, but I would say this friendship has definitely uh, touched us uh, very deeply and uh, we will continue this effort uh, to work very closely with our friends from India and we would like to grow this market together uh, with our friends from uh, India. Thank you. Uh, we see Mumbai is a very important, very prominent market for us. That's why we picked uh, 27 September, World Tourism Day, to launch, I mean, to reconnect with our Mumbai uh, media to with our Mumbai uh, travel industry on this special day. So we want more friends, more tourists from Mumbai come to Penang.